Hey there now, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. And for those of you out there who said, hey man, I didn't um, say, hey man, I thought that he really wasn't going, man, to talk about Naruto. Well, hey, sorry about that shit, man. I guess, I, uh, I guess I'm just one of those opinionated motherfuckers, but hey. It's something, um, uh, um, uh, but hey, when I pretty much looked at it and I saw it, I was like, well, it's Naruto. Let me go ahead and go ahead and watch it, read it, and see uh, and see what all the fuss is, um, uh, see what all the fuss is about. And honestly, Naruto guy in the the seventh Hokage episode one, to be fair, it does pick up. Um, uh, it does start out pretty well with everything that is going on pretty much showing like most of the characters how their lives are everything that is going on and all this crazy stuff and however however like who this thing pretty much focuses on it's pretty much a little bit different than what you would expect given um a giver give or take that boruto necessarily would um, um is the character in which that people they do want to or at least like who that they think will actually be like the main focus uh or pretty much or at least uh, or at least for like them uh for uh, the first episode really isn't it's pretty much focused way more on um uh, on um uh, serato U- uh serato uchiha which is um wh- which is sasuke which sasuke's daughter and pretty much it's a thing that does kind of go on from this of saying that like the kids nowadays even though they don't or at least like she doesn't understand like what is it to um uh, become a ninja she doesn't understand the whole thing of pretty much training and all that um, uh, and all that crazy stuff but honestly it is a very strong thing which they're pretty much that or at least like a very strong conflict in which that they give you like like right off the bat of saying like okay what is uh what is her problem Everybody, uh, all of her friends, they have their fathers in, um, um, in their lives, and pretty much she doesn't. Her father did not die. He just fucking left home, and he's not coming back. Or pretty much she hasn't seen him once, once in her life, especially since, you know, he is still alive out there. And also Sakura constantly telling her that, like, her father, he will come back, and, you know, and so on and so forth. The thing is, though, is that, um... Is that a uh, pretty much looking at it though, or pretty much like looking at this episode though? Is that like it is actually rather nice to see Naruto using his clones to go out there and like play hide and seek with his son? It's actually nice to see Shigamaru and his son Choji and his daughter Sai and his son. You know, pretty much it's pretty much nice to sort of see that like some of these characters are are actually pretty much taking care of their fucking kids and that and that. Or pretty much like, even though Naruto, you know, he didn't, um, um, he pretty much met his father late in his life. It is actually pretty much, it is nice, nice to see him actually, you know, pretty much trying to become his father or, 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 or pretty much be in his son's life. So that is pretty much a, a good thing. However, though, the major conflict of this episode, though, it does, it does pretty much come down, down to one simple question, which that Serata, she does actually ask Sakura, and that is, does my dad does, he wear glasses, and Sakura just sort of just stands there like a, like a deer in the headlights before she tries to, like, beeline the entire question, until Serata just says, maybe you didn't even marry him, which is, which is, that's some shit that will get you buried alive, live in my neighborhood so pretty much what does Sakura do she punches the ground and breaks the fucking house because she's just a fucking colossal bitch I guess or pretty much you know she just kind of has like all them like all them bubbling hormones to pretty much see Sasuke again I have no fucking idea but either way she breaks the house passes out like how just like how um, uh, she normally does which does lead to a pretty a pretty crazy thing when the episode ends which is well, now thinking about this ending, though, is that like I was just, I was thinking about it, and it was a thing of of Sarada. She finds a picture of just um, of Sasuke with another picture of Sakura taped over the front of it, which was which was a picture when he was with Suigetsu and when um, and when he was with Karen. And I'm pretty much the only real reason why they say that this may be. Um, uh, why that this may not be Karen's, um, um, why this may not be Sakura's daughter, but actually Karen's daughter is because of the fact that she wears glasses. And to be perfectly frank, that really isn't necessarily a reason why, 
why somebody would actually need need the glasses. You don't you don't need to have parents who have never worn glasses to be born with a fucking retinal problem. They're really those are things that that really don't necessarily work that way. But since they're pretty much like set at, um setting that up, it is a thing thing of them looking at it and saying like, well now maybe this is Karen's daughter. Um, it possibly could be. But then I started thinking about it and it was a thing of Sasuke really never took that and never re probably never took any pictures with with uh, Sakura. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past Sakura to go out um, um to to fucking go out and kidnap his fucking daughter and and, uh, and fucking raise it for, you know, for like 12 years. I really don't think that that's, you know, her style. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just sort of I mean like that's sort of set up for like a crazy thing already. So Really, that's pretty much all I really got to say about this. For what it was, or at least from what this start is, I am actually happy to see that that they do have um, uh, some conflicts. They do have um, some setups to pretty much sort of like lead into the next episodes and to keep everything going. However, everything now is way more internal and not necessarily just trying to go out there and get them to battle and fight and shit like that even though necessarily they do talk about it every now and again but other than that i really did like this i really did like this chapter because it was actually rather rather refreshing to look at compared to all of the other crazy hype train stuff stuff and which happened last time so pretty much if this keeps on going uphill from here it did actually get a good start going hopefully hopefully they um, uh, can keep up the uh, momentum so that is what i got to say about that what do you think about it tell me in the comment section catch you on the next john grab show please keep watching anime keep playing video games i'm out